Donald Trump proves he stands against racism. The mainstream media will never tell you this. Over the weekend, about 200 attendees at the National Policies Institute annual conference at the Ronald Reagan Building celebrated the rise of Donald Trump as president-elect with slogans of Hail Trump, Hail Our People, Hail Victory. The mainstream media would only do selective reporting by deliberately not mentioning or trivializing Trump's response. In addition, they will never ask this very logical question. If a group of people are celebrating Trump's victory, he is not responsible for their ideas or actions, and it is only logical, illogical to say just because someone is celebrating your victory, hence you are also responsible for their thoughts. In response to this conference, the Trump transition team issued the following statement on Monday. Quote, President-elect Trump has continued to denounce racism of any kind, and he was elected because he will be a leader of every American. The statement goes on to say, to think otherwise is a complete misrepresentation of the movement that united Americans from all backgrounds, end quote. The mainstream media is constantly trying to build a narrative of terror by claiming that racist attacked, attacks have increased since the election of Donald Trump, and it is indeed ridiculous to associate racist attacks with Trump, as he has not asked any of his followers to do any such act. In fact, during his first post-election interview last week, Donald Trump addressed his supporters and categorically said, quote, I say, stop it. If it helps, I will say this, and I will say right to the camera, stop it, end quote. That's what Trump said. Also, he decried the role of media in creating hype against these attacks. So time and again, the mainstream media has tried to connect Trump's Trump with white nationalists. In February, when David Duke, the former Ku Klux Klan associate, endorsed him, Trump categorically said, I disavow, okay? And he tweeted again. This is the February 28th tweet. As I stated at a press conference on Friday regarding David Duke, I disavow. This is by Conservative Army on USA Politics Today. I'll leave a link below for you for this.